Welcome everyone to the bmobilesales.com tutorial. This one is on how to create transactions within bmobilesales.com and the bmobile sales app on the Android um, device. We're going to go ahead and just simply click into the uh, application. Again, we're going to be asked to authenticate and go ahead and type in your username and password and click on the green login button. And at that point, it will remind me about my free trial. I'm going to continue to app. And from here, there's two ways to, to create orders. The first way and probably the primary way is to go to customers, find the customer that you want to create an app, uh, a, um, a, a, a transaction for and click on their name and it will show you some information about that customer. And I'm going to go ahead and click on new order in the top right hand corner. From there, I would choose whether I'm going to create an invoice, a sales order, or an estimate. And you can, in settings, default which one is the primary uh, transaction that this device creates. And from there, I'm just going to simply click on, or on um, items. And I would either search my item list by um, description or by item number. And I'm going to go ahead and sell a couple of these and we'll sell them two at a price of $25 a piece and no discount and I'm going to go ahead and put an line item on there. Go ahead and create another one. They're also going to buy the polished chrome. We're going to buy three of those and click on OK and I've created that and I can the terms for the customers already come over. I can also enter a PO number if there is a PO number to address in this particular purchase. I'm going to create this one as an invoice and I'm going to go ahead and click on pay. At this point it will take me to a notes page that I can type in a set of notes. And I can decide whether I'm going to email a copy to the customer or email a copy and carbon copy myself. And I'm going to put this, go ahead and uh, put this on account. That's how this customer is going to pay for it and I'm going to click on save. And if I have a required signature on the um, device in the settings option, I would be prompted to sign. And at this point, if I'm also um, printing, this is where I would also save and print. In this case, I don't have a printer hooked up. So I'm just going to save the transaction. And now um, it is saved and ready for me to do another one by putting me back at the customer list. Let's go ahead and create um, for call homes, we'll do a similar function, but instead of an invoice, we're going to create an order. This will be useful later when we do some of the bmobilesales.com uh, interface um, tutorials. So we'll create an order for a couple of those and we'll save it. We won't put a note, there's no PO, and since it's not an invoice, um, it's just a sales order, it's only going to be on account. And then I'm going to sign again and I'll save and continue and I'm back to the, the customer list. The second way to enter an order is to go to orders. This shows me all the orders that I've created so those are the two that we just created real quickly. I can also go here and say new order and at that point it will ask me for the customer that I want to uh, give this to and I'm going to go ahead again I'm going to sell them a few items and I'm going to make this one an estimate just to do all three so you can see the difference when they come through. At this point I will save the transaction, sign again, and go back to the list and it puts me back to the orders list. Um, so those are three different ways to, to create transactions or a couple different ways to create three different types of transactions. From here, if I'm ready to send that up to bmobilesales.com, I just go quickly to the synchronize and I can send customers and orders or I can update all or I can update information from the website back down to the device. I'm gonna go ahead and click on update all and it shows me that there's three things to send and then it goes through the um, main database options like customers and items and sales tax codes and things of that nature. But all said and done, I'm done creating transactions on the device. I'm now ready to look at those on bmobilesales.com, which is our next tutorial.
Thank you.